Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. And welcome back to Sandy Bay where today we are in the last day of late summer we are coming toward in we are in the first day of late summer sorry not the last day and we are giving a bit of a chain arrow on our grass field just to make sure that it's as good as it can be going forward this is the last field we need to chain arrow let's have a look, the field should be changing colour as we come now towards harvest and as you see the fields are indeed a nice golden yellow hopefully tomorrow you will see us getting the chickens out we'll have a look before we finish today to see if our crops are almost ready not sure how close to being ready they will be at the minute but this is definitely the job that needs doing raking up the grassland this tractor as you can see you've got 11 hours on it already it's got all the carting to do from the grain and the potatoes the sugar beet won't be carted with this tractor we're only going to use one cart on the sugar beet land just to make sure that we have a tractor left to load up stuff do we need to load anything? this is the biggest of the two grass fields that we have I think next year we will keep the bales off this field probably and uh, sell the ones off the other. Not sure how many cows we're going to have, but uh, probably have 20 cows and then any bulls that are born and any old cows will be sold off <coughs> each year. Keep the herd fresh. A lot of the other farmers in the area would uh, uh, won't be needing or breeding their own cows. As such, will need some more cows adding into their farm. So would be always a sell point for cows and bulls get these this field of grass arrowed up get the arrow put away until spring when we shall get it out give the land an arrow in, in spring to again loosen it up from all the frost the spring one does more good to the grass than this arrowing at this time of year so always a good job to do in the spring we are now going around <coughs> this next breed around
do a great job this pulls up all the weed roots the grass roots of course don't get damaged with the chain arrow but other weed roots do may also in the spring spray it to get rid of some weeds that may arm the cattle don't want anything to hurt our cows they are very precious to us or will be once we get them we'll go to the cattle market and see if we can get some animals we might buy 10 and then breed up to our 20 ourselves before we start selling any surplus off sure as this got arrowed last time and it was re redrilled all this grass up on this top we do also need to get the combine out and give it a bit of a look over make sure it's all in tip top condition for coming into the field and we go again This tractor, once we manage to buy ourselves another tractor going forward, will be in the yard or doing yard work most of the time on the front loader. We'll be cleaning the cows out and feeding the chickens and the cows. end of the field coming narrow already we go now back to the farm end of the field It is easier to see where you've been when you do the spring arrowing. The grass isn't as tall in the spring. That's both autumn or late summer and spring arrowing equally as important to the crop. do that piece over twice just to take off the little longer piece that's on there it really does smoke doing this job it's not got enough not really powerful enough for the job but it does the job at the moment shall be we are now definitely to the narrow end of this job and the rows are getting shorter each time have it along 
and here we go again. This is working lovely now. Is also coming narrow at this end as well now, so uh, shouldn't be too long before we are just in the Peace. middle. Tractor wants refueling as well. We are 395 pounds overdrawn in the bank, so yeah, a couple of low the first loads are going to need to be taken straight to the dealer that's going to offer us the best price. to clear off the bank loan that we've got. We will now get ourselves turned around here. Now, down into where we go, so we look up. Oh, now we need to be down this end. You can see now why we've gone for a long range view. Now you can see exactly where we've been and the helicopter flying high in the sky recording what we do here on the farm. That will be very often we get the helicopter Over. to do some videoing because it costs a lot of money to have them flying over. That crop does look well over there, I must admit. And hopefully we'll be soon ready for harvesting. We desperately, desperately need to get some harvesting done to get, not only to get our bank loan down, but to get ourselves some cows here on the farm. So we can start having money coming in every day from the sale of milk. We are going to make some silage. Relatively new thing for in cattle farming. But we are going to have a go at making the silage. And boost up our yield a little more, either silage or alage anyway. We have grown some maize in one of our fields, we also need to buy an harvester for that. Going forward, in the very near future, we should be getting this field finished already down to 9% or 9 litres, not 9% of our fuel tank. Now we have almost finished this job. We will soon be able to fill it up with fuel, which again is going to take the Overdraft even higher. And this will be the last of our breeds down to here. Let's lift that up and fold it. And let's take this back to the yard, put it into the shed. Before we leave you, we will check on that field to see how far, how close to harvest we are. First of all we need to put this track arrow away. There we are, we shall fill this up. While that is filling we shall check on oh and our crops are ready to harvest. The sugar beet and potatoes not ready. 
the maize not ready but the other crops are ready to harvest so we can now put this away put the trailer on get the combine harvester out wherever we put it I can't remember which shed we put the combine harvester in actually right, now. go get the trailer on here oh. it's too fast there with the driving not sure where we parked up the combine but we shall have our trailer put on here and next time you join us will be the start of harvest we now need to find where we put the combine harvester didn't put it in this shed here looks a likely place here it is here's our combine harvester We'll take our combine out of the shed. So next time you join us, we will be in the midst of harvest. So we will take the combine over there and show you the start of the harvest. Though you won't see. No load of it, we need to get the other tractor over there as well, but we will take the combine over. Start off with. Start. It's also got an hour hectometer on it. We can get through there, that's lovely. Can get down the side of here nicely around in here we now need to manage to get through this gateway which is going to be the difficult part yeah so we can't get through there that is going to be difficult we have got to find a different way around but for now thank you very much for watching we will join you tomorrow with the first of our 1961 harvesting videos until then hope you've enjoyed watching us do the last of the grass arrowing if you would like to see more of it please subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification icon it will tell you when we do these videos when we do our live streams until you join us next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now. Bye bye.